In the previous tutorial, we already finished the start page for the game title and we know how to create a play button. Now we are going to create another page called the gameplay page. In the gameplay page, I will show you how to create a touch input for either iOS or Android or the PC or Mac. And this is also the major gameplay, the major function for this project. And later on, we are going to learn how to add health point to the object. And uh, after the health point less than zero, we will break the object into pieces. And also we will do more polish work at Monji UI in it. Go back to the Unity. Let's hit Command N or simply just uh, go File, New Sim in here and uh, save the current uh, scene so this is a new one for a quick save uh, we can do another way which is uh, click on the star page and hit command D to duplicate change the name to the game play page and double click on this one then we will have a new gameplay page with the settings already set up. We change this name to Game Manager Gameplay Page. Oh, and again, we need to create as a prefab in here. So simply just drag this one under the prefab folder save the sim, go back to the star page and we will do that again. Drag the star object to the prefab. Hit save. Go back to the gameplay page. Keep working. Okay, for the touch input, we are going to use Raycast function. So when user tap on the screen, actually when user tap on the object, then it will detect the collider with the raycast. So we are going to use this way to have user can tap on the object to break the object and also we will use take actually we will use we will add take to the object as well go back to unity so under the script folder Let's create a new script called uh, tap to break. Double click to open it. Let's go to the update. Let's put a comment in here. I call it the touch input control. For doing that, just simply type in this code in here. Ray for the for the. Uh, variable called the ray and based on the camera man screen to point to play input mouse position and if user 
if we detect input from user to get mouse button down choose this one I put zero in here and right now we need to put the, the raycast detect in here for doing that choose physics dot raycast ray another variable hit math f infinity this is for the distance of the raycast detection actually okay we have several variables we need to declare Ray, we already have the local variable in here and we are going to create another one for the hit so the hit we will the hit will be the private variable in here and uh, this is for raycast type of uh, type data data type So let's do a debug real quick. Remember we were saying we need to hit the collider of the object with the take. So we can do that in here. If we hit collider dot take equal to something called a breakable. This is breakable is the take name. Then you will do something. Let's say hit so let's go back to the unity. Still loading. Okay. I clear the console message in here before we can do the hit debugging we need to create the object in the sim so let's create a, uh, okay sorry go back to the tab to break script let's drag this one under the main camera you can also put that in the game manager it's, a, it's fine too but I prefer to put under the game camera so go back to the hierarchy panel and create click on the hierarchy panel and create a, an empty object set to zero let's call this uh, colon for this colon we are do something different Let's create another under the hierarchy. Create another cube in here. We can also call it uh, column model. Set to zero in here, so you can see the column looks like this. And uh, let's uh, scale a bit, make it a little bit fatter. Scale more. Let's put around the one in here and drag this color model under this column object like this. The reason why we are doing that is because we want to separate the collider and the model. That's easier for control. So under the column empty object we are going to put 
we're going to put the collider in here. You can add any kind of collider in here. To do that, we click on the column. Go to component, add the physics. You can use a box collider or capsule collider. For now, we just use the capsule, uh, sorry, box collider. So you can see in here, leave list is triggered by default. And you can see this one, it's already matched this uh, color model. Don't forget to remove this uh, box collider of the model. So click on the model, remove the box collider. In here, let's check again. Change the size. Okay, so we need to change the size of the collider to match this model. It's around a two, I guess. Maybe you just change something like a two, a two. That's easier. And then go back to the collider. It will be two, eight, two, as well. A little bit offset. We also need to put the center in here, so that will match. Okay, because the collider, we are going to add a tag to the column object. Because of the collider, because the collider is under the column, so we need to put tag in here, not to put tag under the column model. So click on the column object and add a tag in here. Open this one and put size. Uh, just just type in breakable. Go back to the column, select the breakable. So now we have this one. Let's hit play, see what will happen. Oops, we forgot to disable the GUI control. Let's remove this script. We don't need this for now. Hit the point again. Okay, you can see when we hit this one, because of the raycast and the collider of the tag, the collider and the tag, you can see the debug result in here. So you already know how to do that for now. Hit save go back to the script so let's add something more so next thing we are going to do is the we already have a raycast, the collider and the tag we're going to do something more 